What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Chelsea FIFA 17 career mode. Today we're really going to get Season 2 underway, jump into some pre-season action, playing the friendlies in the Asia Cup I think we are in. Um, I've put together a bit of a short list based on the suggestions we've had on the video so far. Um, Marco Verratti was suggested but he was valued ridiculously high, like into the 70 millions and we're not that desperate for a midfielder so left him alone but Benucci we tried to get him last year he's 30 years old so he's not young but he is one of the best defenders in the world in my opinion at the moment he's been suggested again so I think we'll try and um, bring him in if we can maybe try and use Gary Cahill in that deal but don't think Juve will be interested in Gary Cahill somehow but Renato Sanchez still young a good option do we need him not really Deli Alley, another young English midfielder very promising don't know what he's valued at so we'll, we'll find that out first Christian Eriksen now, the reason I've left him on here is because twice we've gone in for him, twice he's agreed terms, and twice we've pulled out of the deal. But now he's only got 12 months remaining on his contract, so we might be able to pick him up on the cheap. He's a player that I still would like to bring to the club. And this man, one of the best strikers around in the world at the moment, suggested in every video when I asked for uh, transfer suggestions, Antoine Griezmann. We've got some new objectives. Hurting my eyes looking at this. Champions Cup. They want us to win it. That's, of course, the Champions League. It's our first season back in the competition, as we weren't in it last year because Chelsea had a shocking season the year before. But it's our first time back in it and win it. Cool. FA Cup. Win it. Struggled last year. Went out very early. Cup upset. They want us to win it. Premier League. Won it last year. Win it again. I hate our board. In terms of brand exposure, 323 million. Through media earnings, competition money within three seasons. We've got two seasons left and we are, well, technically, if it's a three-year thing, we should be a third of the way through. We're over that. We're exceeding our expectations. And I think with the Champions League, if we can go on a decent run in that, we should be on course to achieve that. But youth development, we've got a long-term one here. Within two se seasons, have at least one player from the Youth Academy signed in the first season, play at least half of the games in the next season. Huey Hall is not going to play half of our games this season. That's a fact. Difficult one to achieve, that. Got quite a sizeable budget, though. £90 million available for transfer. We could obviously add to that by selling a few players. Wage budget, though, 239 k That's not as big as I thought it would be. We put a lot of money into the club last year. You can see our, we made a hefty profit. Our wage budget come the end of the season was like £2.5 million pounds or something. So it's annoying that they've given us, oh, it's not really a pittance, but such a small wage budget. So we've got our first pre-season game coming up now. And a lot of you said you want to see a 3-4-3 style Antonio Conte kind of formation tried out. So I'm going to do it here in pre-season when obviously we've got nothing to lose. In real life, we've been playing it and John Terry hasn't been able to get into the squad. Whether it's because of his lack of pace, I don't know. But to kind of counter that, I've got Zuma and David Luiz playing either side of him. Both very quick. And our midfield and attack is frighteningly good. Frighteningly good. We've got Carrasco left midfield. Willian right midfield, Kanté and Fabregas in the middle. Then we've got Eden Hazard, Julian Draxler and Diego Costa as a front three. I'm not a fan of playing three at the back. It's not something I've done before. So be interesting to see how we get on. We're not playing against the strongest team. So that might play a factor. And as with all friendlies, I will only show you the very, very key highlights. League games in more detail, of course, but friendlies will keep quick and sharp. Hazard. Looks to go past his man, and he has done. He's beaten him quite comfortably as well. He's got Costa in the middle. Might go it alone here, Hazard. Shot wasn't good. Here's Kante. Finds Fabregas. Going to shoot here, Fabregas. Good hit. Not far over at all. On to Willian. Costa looking to get th through. Is he going to get there? He is, Diego. He's not giving that up. He's going to lay one off here to Fabregas. Should have passed it one more, but I've hit it and hit the post. Unlucky, Sesk. Half-time whistle's gone. Still nil-nil. <laughs> I don't feel like this was the best opponent to test this formation against because they haven't really threatened at all. So the defence hasn't been tested. We've dominated but not found a breakthrough yet. I always do this in pre-season. Just make a load of changes at half-time. Still playing 3-4-3 but just a couple of uh, swaps. Straight swaps. Here's Koke. Finds Angel Correa. On to Pedro. Point to prove for him. Doesn't want to be sold. Isn't transfer listed yet but could well be. Pedro looks to finesse one. It drops to Correa. Takes a touch. Drills it into the bottom corner. A little bit of good fortune about it. But Correa's off the bench to score. There's no good fortune in the finish. Just the way the ball fell to Correa. Once he got it, his touch was good. And he knew exactly where to put that. It's a beautiful finish. Al Halal coming forward. The only thing, obviously, when you're playing a 3-4-3, you are extremely narrow. So any opposition using wingers, 
might be able to exploit you like this. Can David Luiz get a challenge in? No. Chance for them to get level. Good save, Donnarumma. Not cleared yet, but the offside flag goes up. First sign of vulnerability at the back. Oh, they're running at us. They've got through and they've managed to score five minutes from time. Brilliant. Struggling to defend with three at the back. Like I said, it might just be a case that I'm not used to the formation because look, David Luiz got dragged out. JT then missed the challenge, but oh, it's gone through his legs. Donnarumma. Carrasco sees the run of Pedro. Is he onside? There's no flag at the moment. Pedro could win it here in stoppage time. He's cut inside. Pedro looks for the finesse. It's blocked. That's probably going to be the last chance of the game. And it is. Finished all square. Chelsea won. Al Hilal won. Not good. Not good at all, really. Played all right. Just a bit sloppy. But you expect that in pre-season. Let's not read too much into it. Good goal from Correa. There were some positives. So we've received an offer from Barnett for Bradley Collins. 20 years old. 60 rated. Goalkeeper. Now, Donnarumma's only 18 years old and he's 80 rated. So... We might as well let Bradley Collins go because he's not going to play. 210 grand. Cheers. Putting in a bid for Bonucci. Don't expect Juventus to take it or be interested in Gary Cahill. But 20 million plus Cahill is the bid we're going to start with. We'll negotiate our way from there. Trying to be cheeky as well and pick up Christian Eriksen on the cheap. He's only got a year remaining on his contract. As I said, 24 million is what we'll offer. We don't need him, but I'd like him. Putting in a bid for Griezmann as well. Don't expect them to accept it. A bit like the Juventus one. We're going to offer like Remy. And £70 million in exchange for the uh, Atletico Madrid striker. Second preseason game and we're playing Sagantosu. Not sure where they're from. Probably should have looked it up, but a bit late now. Going back to a 4-3-3 formation and giving all of the fringe players a run out. It's what preseason's for. Bertrand Traore leading the line. Loic Remy's going to do a job on the right-hand side. Will probably be his last game for the club unless he's absolutely amazing, scores a hat-trick and... Everything's all good and leads the line for next year. Charlie Masonda, left wing. Looking forward to see what he can do. Lewis Bacon, Nathaniel Chalaba and Huey Hall will be the midfield three. Jay De Silva, left back. Todd Kane, right back. Omaruo, who is transfer listed, by the way. And Christensen will be the centre-half. So the only real senior player, first team squad member, is Testagan in goal. Even the bench is full of youngsters. Huey Hall, lovely, lovely pass to Loic Remy. Can he skip past his man? He can. He's got plenty of pace, Remy. I just don't want him to get injured today. Because that would be a disaster. It's a good run, though. And a tidy little finish. He's going to score a hat-trick, isn't he? Loic Remy, 13 minutes in. We've got the lead. Again, you have to consider the standard of opposition. But that was a decent run. Shocking defending. But the finish, little reverse cutback. I like it. Huey Hall. Nice little pass to pick up Bertrand Traore. Lovely bit of skill. He's got Remy on the run out on the right-hand side. Can he box it here, Remy? He can. There's a man at the back. It's Charlie Mus What a save, by the way. Ball dropped loose and went out for a corner. But how's he denied that header? Bertrand Traore in some space. He's left footed. That's a great bit of skill to move it onto his favoured left foot. And a good strike too. Lewis Baker throws it into Charlie Musonda. No doubt we'll get fans sitting on the edge of their seat this season. Musonda, it's a good run. Going to lay this off. Touch from Kane. Hit from Kane. Unbelievable effort from Kane. Very, very unlucky. There you go. Half-time whistle goes 1-0 up thanks to that Loic Remy Wonder individual strike. Could have been two. Todd Kane, very unlucky not to uh, not to find the top corner. But we've played really well. We've seen solid at the back. Dangerous going forward. Pleased with that first 45. Again at half-time, few changes being made. Aina, Dominic Solanke and Ruben Loftus-Cheek coming into the game. So free kick. This guy could be a set-piece wizard for all we know. He's bent it up and over the wall, but over the crossbar as well. First effort for... Uh, Tosu, can't even remember their name. Solanke putting the defence under pressure and he's actually won possession here. He's got Remy to his right. He's picked him out. Remy, oh, it's the worst first touch ever. Worst first touch ever. Oh, we've got some defending to do. Into stop his time here. It's a good ball through. It's Loftus Cheek trying to get back. The shot comes in, but it's horrific. Full time whistle goes. We've got the win. Wasn't the greatest of performances, but, you know, first half was good. Second half, we just kind of stepped off the gas a little bit. But pleased to get the win means we will probably progress through in this pre-season competition and we got to give the youth players some game time as well so quite a few emails first and foremost offer for Gary Cahill from Barcelona really Barca want him do they as it's Barcelona I'm gonna ask for 17 and a half million pounds they can afford it why not why do they want him bid for Griezmann not happening they're not interested in Remy as we thought and same goes for Bonucci they're not interested in Gary Cahill like we thought so we're gonna have to reassess that and our bid for Christian Eriksen being rejected because he's too much of a valuable player. We knew that as well. Benucci, new bid, 35 
mil, straight up, cash, no players involved. Griezmann, interesting one, because I think Atletico, being they know what he can do, might be interested in Pedro. So, £70 million pounds plus Pedro is our latest offer. I'm reading through the comments, a lot of you were not in favour of selling this man, Marcus Alonso. You want to see him stay at the club? So, I will remove him from the transfer list. That's where we'll end this episode, guys. Season uh, 2 underway, well, pre-season anyway. Still got a lot of transfer business to do, though, so make sure you get your comments um, in and your transfer suggestions in, any deals, players in and out that you want to see. Just let me know and we'll do our best to make it happen. Like if you've enjoyed this episode, subscribe if you are new to the channel so you don't miss any future episodes and you can join us through our second season and we'll see you next time.